Um, I was on court with uh, Rublev yesterday on on Chatria practicing, and then after the practice was over, which was actually a great practice, um, my, my brother told me, and I actually thought he's joking <laughs> in the beginning. Um, but then, yeah, it is what it is. Um, it is the way it is. I mean, obviously, to be very honest, I I wanted to play Rafa again in and you know in my career in his career because I didn't want my last memory of of me playing against Rafa to be me leaving the court on a wheelchair so um ideally I would have liked him to play <laughs> to play him in at a later stage of the tournament um but it is how it is now he is unseated this year um I am seated you know it's a tough draw, but it's a tough draw for, for both of us. And um, we'll see how it goes on Monday. I know the system is well established that in the first round as a seed, you play somebody who's not seeded. <laughs> Any thought in your mind that actually there should be a way perhaps of recognizing the ability of someone like Nadal here at Roland Garros when the seedings are calculated? Yeah, but how are you going to do that? I, I, I don't know how, of course, I can guarantee you Novak didn't want to play Rafa in the first round. Alcaraz didn't want to play. Yannick didn't want to play him. I don't want to play him in the first round, but it is how it is. Um, he has been out injured. Um, he hasn't played a lot of tennis. Um, his, his ranking is where it is. And, of course, it's not ideal. Um, but at the, at the same time, you know, there's there's nothing you can do, and um, everybody now is excited for for a tough battle and tough first round. And I think he's excited, and I'm excited for it. Hey, Sasha, hey. how hard is it to play play the ball and play the guy who's standing on the other side of the net and not play the statue that's oh, on the outside playing, of the court? You are playing the statue. I mean, you're not playing the statue. You're playing the actual person, but you are playing Rafa Nadal. And for me, in my mind, um, I'm I'm gonna play peak Rafael Nadal, and that's what I expect uh, him to be. I expect him to be as, at his absolute best. Um, I expect him to play the best tennis uh, that he's played in, in a long time on this court. And there's always been discussion. I mean, 2022, I remember he he came into Roland Garros not winning Monte Carlo, not winning Madrid, not winning Rome, and. He came into this tournament, and everybody's like, well, he's a big question mark, he's this and that. He came and dominated the entire tournament. So uh, in my in my mind, I think he's going to be peak Rafa Nadal. I think he's going to be at his best, and that's that's my mindset going into this match. Hi, oh, Sasha. My question is a bit off topic. I'm from Brazil, and in Brazil, tennis fans know that you are very good friends with um, Marcelo. Yeah. So I would like to know uh, how this friendship started, as uh, you have very different profiles tennis-wise. And uh, how important is it, is it to have uh, friends in the circuit, in the tour, where sometimes it's a bit lonely? Yeah, it makes life easier. It's like having family around. It makes life easier. and. Um, you can enjoy the moments outside the court um, a lot. Um, you know, the friendship started a long, long time ago when I just came on tour. You know, it, it started basically by playing PlayStation together. And then, you know, it started by playing PlayStation together, basically. You know, playing FIFA together uh, at some point during a tournament. And then it kind of developed. It uh, developed in, you know, dinners. It developed in... Uh, doing activities outside the court, then it developed into Misha inviting him to his wedding, and then somehow, you know, we're here, what, 10 years later? And I mean, it sounds like we're having a relationship, but I'm saying uh, it was still, it's still, yeah, we're still best friends, so that's, that's good. Hi, Sasa. Hey. Uh, sorry if someone has asked you something similar, because we work with Pablo Carreño. Uh, I want to ask you a very direct question. Uh, who do you think has been more unlucky, Rafa Nadal or Sasa Zverev? Unlucky. Unlucky on the in, draw. In what way? Who, who has been more unlucky on the draw with the with this? Ah, with uh, the draw, I thought yeah. in life. I mean, he has 22 Grand Slams. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> and I, I I wish I would be that unlucky. <laughs> I take it. Um, I think both of us, if we would have a choice, 
we would choose differently, for sure. Um, I said it, I think you are not in the room, but I said it, I really, before the end of, my, of his career, I mean, the, in the end of his career, I mean, he's going to finish his career probably before mine, I would assume so. Uh, I'm playing to play a little bit longer. Um, I really wanted to play him one more time, one one more time, because I didn't want uh, my last memory to be me rolling off in a wheelchair of Philip Chatrier. And um, I really wanted to play him here. I did not want to play him in the first round. <laughs> I wanted to play him in the semi-finals, finals, you know, a later stage of the tournament. But at the end of the day, he's not seeded. Um, it is how it is, and um, I think we're both going to be prepared for a tough battle. Sasha, I understand the legal proceedings against you are going to start in Germany during the French Open. Is it still the case that you don't need to attend in person? No, and I'm here. You're, you're going to be here throughout yeah. the fortnight, are you? Yeah. And, and how much is it on your mind and, and affecting your French Open campaign? Not at all, um, because at the end of the day, I, I do believe in the German system. I do believe, um, you know, in the truth uh, as well. And I have to be certain that... You know, I, I do know what I did, I do know what I didn't do. And that's, that's at the end of the day, what's going to come out. And um, I have to trust in that. You know, uh, everything else is out of my hands. Not out of my hands, but I, I do believe that I'm not going to lose this procedure. There's absolutely no chance I am. So um, that's why I can play calmly. And I think my results have been showing it. Uh, winning Rome, I think, is, is a big title as well. Um, obviously being here and um, if it would be on my mind I wouldn't be playing the way I am.